So you're working on a major iMovie project and you want to back it up or you want to move the whole project to a different computer. Not just the final project, but everything. All the cuts, all the edits, all the titles. How do you do that? It's, it's not that simple actually. However, if you're on iMovie 9 or iMovie 2011, the one with the black and gold star, click this annotation right here because that's the movie that you want to see. However, if you're in iMovie 10 or iMovie 2013 with the purple star, you're in the right place. Let's get started. So let's say you've been working super hard on this project and you want to back it up. The first step is to go to the file menu and then click on open library new. Uh, you're going to give it a title. I'm going to call it backup library. I'm going to put it on my desktop and push save. I have a new I have two libraries now. I have my default library and I have my backup library. So how do I move something into my backup library? You don't want to drag the file there because that'll move it. You want to hold down the option button and drag it to the backup library, wait for the green plus sign and release. You've just made a copy of the movie you want to back up. So you have two copies now one in the regular library, one in the backup library. I'm going to minimize iMovie and lo and behold there the backup library is on my desktop. At this point you want to plug in an external hard drive or a flash drive. So you just drag the backup library onto the external hard drive. This will take a while on a flash drive but on an external hard drive it'll be pretty fast. If all you want to do is back up your library, you're done. But let's say you want to transfer it to another computer, or let's say you want to restore a backup library. What's the next step? Again, you plug in your external hard drive or flash drive and drag the backup onto the desktop. And again, it takes a while to load. So after it transfers, you probably want to put it in your movies folder. So to do that, just drag it over and notice you have two libraries now, the backup one and the default one. And if you open up iMovie, you notice it doesn't automatically appear. You actually have to double click it to open it. And after you do that, it'll show up uh, in your iMovie. There it is. Right? There's my backup library with the project I want and there's my original library. And notice if I click on it, I have everything, right? All the cuts, all the edits, everything about that project is saved, and I can pick up where I left off uh, in case my hard drive crashed or in case I wanted to transfer it to another computer. Enjoy.